Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Shahada wa la ilaha illallah Shahada wa la ilaha illallah Shahada wa anna muhammad Shahadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah Hayya la salah Hayya la salah Hayya la Huzur says that this is our claim that uh, Ahmadiyyat, inshallah ta'ala, is going to be dominant and prevalent in the world. Ahmadiyyat is no, nothing different than Islam. Actually, the true Islam is Ahmadiyyat. Our Ahmadiyyat, in other words, is the true Islam. Our opponents, however noise they may raise, that Ahmadis are not Muslims, but uh, Allah Almighty, the practical evidence of Allah and witness of Allah every time, every moment, as a collectively, as a Jamaat, it gives us the assurance that Allah Almighty is with us. And, uh, and if the whole world can find the true teachings of Islam anywhere, that is only to be found from the true lover of the Holy Prophet 
عاشی کے ساتھ سے مل سکتے اینڈ تھرو دیٹ امام آف دی ایج تھرو دیٹ پرومس مسایا اینڈ مہدی دی پرومس ون واز سینٹ بائی اللہ اکارڈنگ ٹو ہز پرومس فار دی ریوائول آف اسلام ہو واز سینٹ اینڈ اسٹیبلشڈ ان دس ٹائم اسلام کی نشست اور تھرو ہم دی ریوائول آف اسلام از گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک پلیس اسلام کا سو ویدر دیز آر مسلم کنٹریز آر نان اسلامک ورلڈ یا دی ٹیچنگ آف دا ریئل اسلام اینڈ دا ریئل میسج آف اسلام ٹو گیو دیٹ میسج ناؤ اللہ المائٹی ہیز ڈیسٹنڈ اینڈ دس ہیز ٹو بی ڈن تھرو دی گریٹسٹ لور آف دی ہولی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ دیٹ از دی a Masih Maud and Imam Mahdi. Today or tomorrow, sooner or later, people will come to know that Jamaat Ahmadiyya is the true Muslim community and it is true representative of the teachings of Islam. Two days ago, the reporter of Los Angeles Times came to me and she asked that you are in small number in America not very many people know of you so uh, how is it this message of peace which you claim is the message of the true Islam how you can spread this message in the whole in the whole country so I told her that it's not a question of uh, one America in America and throughout the world to one day we are going to inshallah ta'ala Uh, we are going to win your hearts or the hearts of your progenies and we will bring about the victory of Islam. I thought that perhaps on that that she might not be writing in a different way on this topic but just before coming for Juma when I uh, read the report uh, carried in the newspaper they have mentioned in that Uh, almost uh, correctly they have mentioned whatever I said <coughs> the fact of the matter is that Allah Almighty the decree of Allah Almighty as always has been supporting the prophets of Allah uh, this the same decree is with the Allah with the promise Messiah and the same are the promises and as I said that the practical evidence of Allah Almighty every moment shows us the examples of that <coughs> and we are firmly established on this belief that Allah Almighty the, in the wording of the Holy Quran that Allah Almighty has decreed that me and my messengers are going to be dominant and prevalent and victorious so as this has come true in the past So now, when the, uh, with the promise Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam, this promise was given to him. He was also given assurance in these very wording. And Allah Almighty revealed to him the same. So then, this is also going to be true, definitely. <coughs> Because uh, it is he who in this age and time, who is presenting the teaching of Islam and in order to spread the teaching of Islam he has been appointed by Allah Almighty in this age. So it is impossible that uh, Allah in order to spread his faith and uh, Allah Almighty should not help uh, the one who he has been sent by Allah Almighty. Hadrat Masih Maudalai Islam says that Allah Almighty has decreed it in the, from the very big beginning and he has declared it as his law and his uh, tradition that he and his messengers they are going to be victorious uh, so therefore as I am his messenger and the one sent by him without a new law and without a new claim and without a new name rather the, that prophet who is the Khatm Nabiyyin I have acquired his name and to be completely lost in him and I ha have come in his footsteps therefore I say that as since uh, the time of Adam uh, uh, the, the 
the subject matter of this verse has be, been manifested truly so it is going to become true in my favor as well so he says that are these people because of their aversion to this from this message can they stop the decree of Allah Almighty the intention of Allah and all the prophets uh, throughout the ages have been witness to that no they won't be and the prophecy of Allah Almighty is going to become true that Katab Allah Laqlibanna wa Rusuli so so regarding this by the grace of Allah I don't have an iota of doubt about it and no true Ahmadi can have a doubt a iota of doubt about it that God forbid the Jamaat at any time uh, is going to be a devoid of the blessings of Allah Almighty and its support or this victory is not going to take place every this point should be very clear to every Ahmadi what is this prevalence what is this domina domination of Islam is it uh, the capturing the governments worldly governments or in every country the, the, it means the, that the Ahmadis become in majority in, uh, in all these countries. This is also one meaning of that. But, uh, but this is the tradition of Allah Almighty that uh, the dominance and the prevalence is in two ways. One takes place during the life of the Prophet and it is through the Prophet. And the other one is after the passing away of the Prophet. And, uh, by, and that is through spreading the teachings of that Prophet, but through their followers. The explanation of that has been given by the Promised Messiah Islam, in this wording that uh, the message is firmly established on the surface of the earth and nobody can complete that and this is the dominance which Allah Almighty grants to uh, his prophets and similarly Allah Almighty has mentioned and told me and that uh, through science God Almighty establishes their truth and that truthfulness which he wants to spread the world and these the, the messengers want to spread the sowing of the seed is done by their hands so the victory through the prophet is this that to uh, evidence of the existence of Allah Almighty is firmly established to the people of the world people come to know clearly that these arguments and these uh, reasons are there and uh, these are the things which have been given by a special uh, support by Allah Almighty and the knowledge and the understanding of the Prophet, nobody can compete uh, in that. And uh, such signs are shown in his favor, uh, which uh, show clearly the truth of uh, the Prophet. No doubt the opponents of the uh, Islam, uh, they might uh, increase in their opposition. But in, in the field of arguments and uh, um, signs of Allah, they cannot deny that. The opponents of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, those who were very stubborn and, uh, and they wanted to live according to the pattern of their forefathers, they did not have any argument. So it was only a, a feeling of stubbornness in them and uh, rigidity. So therefore, uh, despite the uh, with the help of that arguments and signs, Hazrat Musiya Maudulah also, uh, 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 th there was no reason in the hand of the opponents to refute his claim and nor they have any reason today. And similarly there are the signs and during the time of the Hazrat Musiya Maudulah the sun and moon eclipse, the sign of that, first the so-called uh, ulama, they used to demand about that that uh, the sign of the coming of Mahdi and Masi is the sun and moon eclipse uh, where is that and when that was uh, there then they started uh, interpreting it in a different way than the sign of the earthquakes and there are so many other signs of that nature those people who don't have to believe they are not going to believe but those who are of pious nature they continue to enter into the fold of the Ahmadiyya Ahmadiyya Jamaat 
that sowing of the seed and that seed was uh, which uh, has to be put by the prophet that is sown and the true teaching that is to be told to the people of the world he tells them all and then with the passage of time it shows its uh, a metal and uh, its truth and uh, this is what happened according to the promise given to the promised Messiah and this be uh, the seed which was thrown by his hand at its time it came out as a flourishing crop and it is uh, being uh, uh, it is very evident even today so this is also one way of the victory and dominance although there were uh, some few hundred thousand people were there uh, who embraced Ahmadiyat at his hand but it was the dominance that uh, Allah Almighty's uh, countable signs were shown in his favor and intellectually and spiritually uh, nobody could compete with him in any way then the second part of the uh, dominance and victory is that which begins after the demise of the Prophet actually that is also uh, linked with the arguments and with the signs of the Allah Almighty it is a sort of continuation of the same but uh, this begins after the life of the Prophet although the opponents they understand they think that the Prophet ha has died the one the Clement has passed away the one who formed the community is no longer here so therefore uh, we can once again uh, we can uh, overcome the community established by him and we, we will um, suppress that community and uh, the people who have joined in this community we are going to uh, by spreading the false uh, uh, doctrines we are going to take them away because there is nobody to look after them and to protect them and that uh, uh, temporary victory which was granted to the Prophet that uh, would come to an end this is the thinking of the opponents at that time Hadrat Musiyah Maud his uh, uh, opponents also uh, took it in that way but Hadrat Musiyah Maud has told us well before that that like the previous Prophets my victory is that victory and uh, that victory will be according to the promises of Allah Almighty unless they are fulfilled that is uh, that will continue to take place so therefore he said that uh, I will pass away but uh, never be get worried about that the, so, the seed that I have sown and uh, that is going to become a, a very flourishing uh, cluster of trees which is going to sustain through the second manifestation that is Khilafat so that the victory of the success should uh, continue uh, happening again and again so one part of the victory as it is manifested in the life of the prophets and some part is fulfilled after their demise similarly <coughs> similarly in Jamaat Ahmadiyya the promises given to the promised Messiah according to those promises and the Jamaat is at the moment witnessing the fulfillment of the second part of this victory no doubt the progress of the Jamaat and the victory is something decreed and as I said it is going to take place uh, numerically it is going to take place as well and we are seeing it actually witnessing that this is taking place but uh, but Hadrat Musiya Maud has also uh, mentioned about responsibility in this regard that how in this regard uh, we can take part in this victory uh, generation after generation and these responsibilities are the same which Allah Almighty has told us in the Holy Quran that you follow the path of righteousness and reform yourselves and uh, your spiritual and moral condition you have to evaluate that and uh, this message and this mission 
which has been uh, granted to the promised Messiah, Islam, you fulfill that. He, regarding his uh, master and guide, following his example, uh, example of the Holy Prophet, وسلم, he was uh, he came to establish the dominance of the his master, and he came to uh, cleanse the world from the shirk and the association of partners with Allah. And he says that all those souls which are at the moment residing in various parts of the world, whether in Asia or Europe, and all those people who have pious nature, they should be attracted to the idea of oneness of Allah Almighty. And the whole world should be brought together on one point of the unity of Allah. This is the purpose for which I have been sent in this world. So now you follow this purpose and this objective, but with meekness, with gentleness, with morals, and putting emphasis on prayers. So in order to establish the whole world on the principle of uh, unity of Allah and to bring them on one faith, all those things which are required, they, and these things are first of all tabligh, to convey the message of Allah. And secondly, uh, one should uh, uh, to take your morals to a high status. And thirdly, through the prayers, you seek help from Allah Almighty. So today, each and every Ahmadi and every such person who, who, who attributes himself to the promised Messiah in this age, he has to realize this responsibility so that uh, he can understand this purpose and he can become the means of that purpose for which Hadrat Masih Maud was sent. No doubt, the arguments and the signs were given by Allah Almighty, and until today and through these signs, uh, we are witnessing the progress of Ahmadiyya through these signs. If we look at our own efforts, so then it is uh, it is not even the hundred thousands, uh, not even the hundred thousands uh, portion of that uh, uh, of that blessings which have been uh, given to us. But uh, Allah Almighty has told us about our responsibility and Hazrat Musiya Maud has drawn our attention to this point that if every one of us does not pay attention to this responsibility, so then he will not be able to become the recipient of those blessings which, uh, which uh, one can get by becoming an active part of the community of the Promised Messiah. So we have to pay, pay attention and there is a need that everyone should pay attention to that. No doubt these fruits are not uh, because of our efforts. These blessings which we are receiving, that is not because of us. This is entirely and solely the blessings of Allah Almighty. These are the blessings of Allah who who always takes uh, care of the honor of his beloved ones. And when he appoints somebody with his special command, then all the promises given to him, they are fulfilled miraculously, and the enemies are utterly disgraced. Rather, more and more stages of the progress, uh, the community established by the, uh, appointed by Allah Almighty, they always uh, move in that direction. But uh, to do effort is our responsibility. And uh, Allah Almighty has mentioned uh, the description of the qualities of those people in various places. In one place it is mentioned that وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلُمْ مِمَّنْ دَعَيْ لَلَّهِ وَعَمِلَ سَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And and who is better in speech than that person who invites the people, mankind to Allah and performs the righteous deeds? And then he says that surely I am among the uh, true obedient people. So these are the things. Dawat al-Allah or tabligh and to always keep an eye over one's doing and always to perform good deeds and uh, the duties towards Allah and towards fellow beings, one has to be careful about that and one has to show total uh, obedience to Allah and one's capabilities and faculties according to that uh, one should uh, take care of these responsibilities and discharge the responsibilities 
بیکاز تبلیغ کین ناٹ بی سکسیزفل انلیس پیپل سو دیز آر دا تھنگس دعوت اللہ اور تبلیغ and to always keep an eye over one's doing and always to perform good deeds and uh, the duties towards Allah and towards fellow beings one has to be careful about that and one has to show total uh, obedience to Allah and one's capabilities and faculties according to that uh, one should uh, take care of these responsibilities and discharge the responsibilities because uh, tabligh cannot be successful unless uh, keeping an eye on our own deeds uh, we uh, we according to the teaching uh, of allah almighty we do not change our actions according to that and uh, by doing so uh, we seek the player of allah almighty and we do not keep that in front of our eyes when an ahmadi in their meetings and in our gatherings they make a promise that he will give preference to religion over the world's worldly matters so then one has to take full regard of that only then our example would be such that by looking at our example people will be attracted to the message of Ahmadiyyat when the Khulafa uh, when they have been throwing this challenge to the people of the world that are now I say to the people of the world that uh, now we are untiringly we are conveying this message of Islam to the people of the world and one day by winning the hearts of the people of the world we are going to bring them into the fold of Ahmadiyyat so then I say it with this uh, uh, good under, uh, uh, belief and uh, expectation that the beauty of the actions and the total obedience to the uh, commands of Allah Almighty, the members of the community, the, the standards of the spiritual progress of the members of the community will not only improve, rather they will continue to gradually go up and up. And they will be able to convey the message of the promised Messiah and his message with dedication and commitment. They will continue with that mission, with that task. No doubt Allah Almighty has mentioned that uh, there should be a group of uh, people among you, those who get the, uh, acquire the religious knowledge and they have got the deeper understanding of that and the message of Allah Almighty. They convey that message to the people of uh, their nations and they continue to do so. But uh, the believers are also commanded that uh, you should convey the message of Islam. If, uh, if, we have, uh, if we have shortage of missionaries at this time, so we cannot wait for that, that they should be prepared and then uh, the uh, progress will be made in the field of tabligh. In order to further the uh, uh, cause of tabligh, <coughs> And in order to increase the pace of tabligh, from everywhere, we have to, uh, to create and uh, bring forth such groups of people who continue to further uh, and spread message of Islam uh, by the grace of Allah in every country. There is one group of people everywhere who are very keen to do tabligh and for this purpose they are spending their time and devoting their time for that. There are people in America despite the fact that uh, it is generally said that uh, because of the financial uh, tensions and uh, uh, difficulties uh, people have to work uh, uh, for longer time and people are more inclined towards worldly matter but I have seen that by the grace of Allah there is a group of people here in this country as well uh, which uh, the, on this promise of giving preference to religious matters over the worldly matter they act upon that in such a way that one is really surprised and one uh, is full of prayer for those people I have met some people uh, those who are running a very small business or having a stall but along with that they have they have uh, continued uh, do, uh, doing this tabligh along with, along with that work their stalls have, have been converted into the means of tabligh. Uh, previously they had this complaint that literature was not available. Now they say that uh, we get the literature, we get in, in Spanish for the people in this area. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, this uh, the responsibility which comes uh, upon them because of spreading this uh, 
literature and their demand is and this is the keen desire in their hearts that uh, we we should be given a, a Spanish speaking a, a missionary and those who have the knowledge such missionaries should also be given to us those who speak Spanish language Jamaat according to its uh, means inshallah ta'ala God willing we are trying that uh, we are going to provide them the missionary but the Jamaats if there such a demand is there so then the Jamaat should also they should create the spirit and the dedication in the youngsters of the Jamaat that they uh, they devote themselves for acquiring the religious knowledge and they should be offered to go to Jami Ahmadiyya to get the religious knowledge so that uh, these people according to the atmosphere here and the tendency of the people such people could be uh, made available to them so this uh, uh, zeal and this uh, uh, dedication and this uh, dedication for tabligh uh, it is not in among the elderly people rather in some youngsters I have seen that they are very committed to this one and there is a new Ahmadi here uh, uh, perhaps uh, he lives here somewhere in this area he came to see me and he was very much uh, uh, excited about it that how to convey the message those who are from Spanish origin how these people should be conveyed the message and uh, uh, how to convey the message of Islam and Ahmadiyyat to these people and it should be conveyed as early as possible He's, he told me that uh, Bible I remember it uh, 40% and now I am uh, memorizing the arguments from the Holy Quran and this is uh, a, a message for even for even those people who are old Ahmadis but they do not pay attention to this point that uh, the arguments from the Holy Quran now I am memorizing and I do tabligh and according to him he said I am doing tabligh and he said that people are going away from Christianity but they are not going away from religion and not from going away from God they are in search of God <coughs> so in order to fill this gap we have to come forward and in order to introduce them to the really true teaching of Islam in order to bring them closer to Allah Almighty we are in badly in need of doing tabligh looking at their excitement I was also reminded of this thing uh, so I have discussed the matter with the missionary in charge that uh, I have all also told Amir Sahib to make a special plan for that if auxiliary organizations uh, along with the Jamaat administration if they do work and uh, the schemes of Vakfi RC are carried out and in those areas where things are more favorable they should work harder there so at least in uh, once uh, uh, the people, the Spanish uh, uh, people of this area, at least uh, they will get the introduction of Islam and Ahmadiyyat, and this is very essential to do. The demands are so many that now there is no such worry that how we are going to introduce the message of Islam, Ahmadiyyat, to these people. Allah Almighty has opened up so many ways that one is really surprised, not only in America, but uh, uh, in South, in the in the countries of South America, in Guatemala, there are Ahmadis, they are very dedicated, they are preacher, and he, he, they are here. They are saying that, uh, they say that the missionaries, and uh, we give us uh, missionaries and give us more literature, which should be according to the local Spanish language, because their Spanish and the Spanish spoken in Spain, uh, there is uh, some uh, difference uh, in the spoken uh, Spanish language and our literature generally is produced in Spain so when they told me this thing that uh, we are interested in uh, 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 that we are interested in Spain so and they said that you are only worried about those people where 40 million people are there and there are 400 million people who are Spanish speaking so these are the real helpers and the Dayane Allah and uh, the preachers, those Allah Almighty has uh, blessed the promised Messiah with. So now it appears that uh, the decree of Allah Almighty is going, to, is uh, leveling the ground for us in America and also in neighboring countries. 
Allah Almighty has started a wind blow like that in favor and uh, uh, in some country the Spanish people are in majority and uh, among them there is an in, uh, inclination towards religion but now they are looking for the true uh, religion for this area there should be a special program uh, worked out and uh, the people living here they have to pay attention to discharge their responsibility in this regard the literature which is available they use uh, they should use that literature and as soon as possible uh, according to the standard of the language of this area the literature should be molded according to that uh, in my thinking that there is a big scope of uh, Ahmadiyyat uh, in this area that was further supported when our missionary Azhar Hanif Sahib uh, when I received a letter from him that I happened to see a few days before I came in which uh, he has mentioned the with, uh, regarding a dream of Adat Khalifa Musi Rabe Rahimullah Ta'ala and uh, which he mentioned in some of his uh, 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 Friday sermon that letter is not in front of me but uh, I remember as far as I remember the, 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 in the dream he saw that there are multitude of people and there are and he says that Hazrat Khalifa Musi Rabe says that uh, that is the area perhaps uh, something similar to Los Angeles so if we work hard and each one of us is dedicated to this work then the real revolution takes place at that time or the indications of that become prevalent when people also work for the for that revolution so this uh, is certainly the decree of Allah that uh, Allah Almighty the uh, the promises of uh, 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 victory which was given to the promised Messiah Islam, that is going to f be fulfilled if we want to become the part of this fulfillment of this promise then all those Ahmadis who are living in this area each one of them they should uh, try to change their thinking channel according to that one and that is according to the decree of Allah Almighty some people have this thinking and uh, their thinking is uh, only because of their lack of uh, uh, strength and power that these are the worldly people they have got nothing to do with religion and, uh, and there is uh, the largest film industry of the world and the glamour of the world is uh, very much here no doubt everything is there but there is a large uh, number of people large group of people who are actually waiting for us and the more I think this point is uh, getting firmly rooted in my heart that uh, that the victory of Ahmadiyyat in America might be coming from this area so we have to uh, we should not take excuse of our uh, weaknesses and uh, put the blame on their shoulder and uh, the Jamaati administration uh, they should also work to formulate and uh, plan a, uh, elaborate program if the program is already there and that should be implemented at the same time auxiliary organizations uh, should also do so but each and every person who lives in this area and not only living in this state rather the Ahmadis living in the whole country it is their responsibility and uh, this uh, the promise of the initiation that puts this responsibility on his shoulder that uh, that those people who are callers towards Allah the responsibility which Allah Almighty has mentioned that is to say to perform good deeds righteousness and uh, and, uh, the, and uh, the conveying the people the message that should be done and they should work very hard for that and how it is going to be done for this uh, we have to look towards the promised Messiah Islam, as to what was his expectation and uh, and how he wanted to see us not only this thing that we are worldly people we are weak 
and uh, only this much is enough for us that we have done our bath. We cannot be, we cannot uh, get ourselves excused from the ac accountability from God Almighty. No doubt, uh, an Ahmadi Muslim as compared with the other uh, non-Ahmadi Muslims by coming into the initiation of the promised Messiah, they are much better than that. And the and the sin of denying a prophet, he is, they are they saved from that. But the true believer is he who he tries to move towards the higher stages of progress. Aslamna from that state, they, they go for the progress in the field of Iman. From the apparent uh, submission, they move forward to the total submission, the real submission. And there are many Ahmadis who are such that in their families, the Ahmadiyat uh, came through the, uh, from the time of their forefathers. And those uh, elderly people, they moved much farther than Aslamna and they went to Amanna and they showed uh, a, a surprisingly uh, very high sacrifices. So in order to have the honor and the regard for their sacrifices, and uh, this, is, this is also one of the responsibility of their progenies. And they should have regard for their wishes. Then you will become the recipient of their prayers as well. So those people who are living here for a long time, they should evaluate themselves from this angle as well. That they have to discharge the responsibility to their forefathers. And apart from that, there is one group of people, they have, those who have come here, those who have been coming here for the last few years. For this reason only, that in their own country, the, the uh, living has, was made difficult for them. So in the Western countries, are the governments in the Western countries in which America is also a part of it, they are given this uh, uh, social rights only because of that uh, to these people, because uh, the Ahmadis have been deprived from their uh, social rights in their own countries. Uh, the rights of citizenship have been denied to them. Rather, uh, they are being crushed in the uh, mill of torture. So you are coming over here. Uh, it is because of the fact that you are a member of the community. And this thing requires that you should show the example of being a practical Ahmadi. Here I would like to draw your attention once again that those asylum seekers living here are those who have come here as refugees and they are very much worried uh, because they don't find any job here. They should search for the job. But in their spare time, they can go out and uh, take the literature and go out and they should do the task of uh, tabligh. Uh, uh, by sitting in the home, they suffer more depression. So you will get rid of that and Allah Almighty will give you, bless you and maybe through this blessing Allah Almighty will also improve your conditions and inshallah he will do that. Anyway, uh, briefly I would like to mention that Hazrat uh, Masih Maud what sort of jamaat he wanted to see or what was his expectation from us. The very first thing which he has mentioned is that this uh, dispensation has been established for this reason that uh, that uh, the faith in Allah Almighty should be strengthened, should be first firmly established. He said uh, the Holy Quran tells us that Iman and uh, by th um, thinking and deliberation it increases. So in order to increase our faith in Allah Almighty we should uh, uh, ponder and deliberate over the, his book, the Holy Quran, and we should read it regularly and ponder over it. And uh, the vast literature produced by the Promised Messiah, which he has left behind for us, by not reading that literature, we are depriving ourselves from this treasure. And this, uh, uh, and this, uh, is, uh, uh, this also becomes the means of weakness of our faith. We have to pay attention to this point. Then he said, that uh, uh, Iman, the faith, is further strengthened with signs. Allah Almighty 
showed him the signs and uh, he revealed to him that uh, people will come from long distance and very multitude of people will come to you and these examples and uh, things we have seen in history and we have uh, they are safeguard uh, uh, documented in history and uh, not only that much every year at Jalsa Salana we do see these things and this thing we are able to see and we are also seeing this thing uh, today that in just to in order to uh, offer the Juma together by from long distance by spending their money and time the people have come from all over the country because the Khalifa of the time is here and this is all uh, this is all because of the love of the Hadrat Masih and the link with the Khilafat so if the eyes were able to see if they are able to see this to this point and every heart and mind who can ponder they can think over it and keep this point in front of them then the belief in the existence of Allah and in the truth of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat then the faith becomes stronger and stronger and then he also pointed out one of the quality of a true believer true member of the community that after doing the bath love of Allah Almighty should be there in his heart he says that Allah Almighty has sent a sadiq a truthful person and he intends to create such a community which is loving Allah Almighty so we have to analyze this thing each one of us that uh, the love of Allah Almighty how much progress we have made in this direction uh, are those uh, good deeds which uh, Allah Almighty has enjoined upon us in the Holy Quran and uh, in order to get the love of Allah Almighty are we performing those deeds are, are we are trying to are we trying uh, are we uh, are trying to search for that and uh, comply with that if not then we are just uh, in the area of aslamna that we have submitted when allah almighty wills that uh, we should uh, make progress in our faith and when Allah Almighty demands from us that, uh, that we should be strong in our faith. Hazrat Masih Maud says, I know it fully well that our community and we, whatever we are, in this very condition, uh, and the Allah Almighty's help and succor will be accompanying us only in that case when we are following the right path. He says that I know it fully well that me and our community, whatever we are, and uh, we are going to Allah Almighty's help and succor will accompany us if we follow the right path. And the Holy Prophet Sallallahu total obedience is shown to him, and we uh, we make the code of conduct, the teachings of the Holy Quran and all these things uh, which we show through our actions and our sayings the practical condition should be such which would establish that we are acting upon those things and not only through the words of mouth but through actions if we are going to follow this path so then certainly remember it that the whole world combined they cannot destroy us if they want to destroy it we cannot be destroyed because Allah Almighty is with us but if we are disobedient to Allah Almighty and we have severed our ties with Allah Almighty then for our destruction nobody has to make any plan at all and there is no need of any opposition Allah Almighty himself will destroy us then he says remember it fully that if you do not acquire the quality of righteousness and that piety which Allah Almighty wishes from you if you are not going to get a big portion of that then Allah Almighty will destroy you because you have believed in a truth 
and then practically you are denying that. So don't depend on this thing and never ever be proud of this that you have done the bad. Unless you acquire the truth aqua, you will not be saved. Allah Almighty has got no relationship with anybody and nor He does favor anybody. And our opponents, they are also created by Allah and you are also created by Allah Almighty. Only the, the belief does, will not help you unless your actions and your uh, statements are corresponding to one another and then drawing the attention to performing the good deeds and to do full justice to the requirements of the prayer regarding this matter says only to abstain from uh, vices is uh, not something great our jamaat should uh, do, uh, should not uh, stop there rather they should uh, they should try to get the both the excellences for which uh, concerted effort and prayer is the remedy and that is to say abstain from vices and they should uh, aim, uh, go on increasing do good deeds a person dealing with other people one is always influences other people with one action so that's why you said that your actions and your saying should be agreeable to one another. So that is why those people who convey the message, they have to look after their deeds. Hadith Musim Aulai says that be very humble and meek and the truth of this community, this Jamaat, that should be proved through your actions. This is my advice. Always remember that. So in, or, to, in order to explain the truth of this uh, dispensation of Ahmadiyat upon the people of the world, that would be made manifest at that time when inside and outside of our life will be one the same and our actions and deeds will be corresponding to one another. And when, when we will be able to tell the beautiful teachings of Islam, uh, when we, will, uh, we are going to uh, in, in, uh, bring these people into the fold of Ahmadiyat, then the color and the creed and the race, the difference of that will be forgotten. And according to the true teachings of Islam, each one of them will be treated like true brothers and we will be embracing them uh, and we have to treat them like our close relatives. There are many African and uh, Americans, uh, they embraced Ahmadiyat and but their coming generations they went away from Ahmadiyat and uh, out of those reasons uh, the reason was that the majority of the Pakistani Ahmadis the majority of those people they did not absorb them fully the teaching of Islam uh, was told to them to these people but their actions they, they were not corresponding to that although it is the a failure of those people who drifted away that instead of uh, uh, paying attention to the faith they paid attention to the people to the personalities of the people but those people who became the stumbling block for them they also became the part of their uh, deprivation so attention has to be paid to this point and the last uh, ex extract I present from the writing of the Promised Messiah Islam, he says to understand it fully that in the sight of Allah Almighty those people are not uh, beloved that those who have good uh, dresses and good food but those people are beloved of Allah Almighty those who give preference to religion over the world and entirely they are sold to uh, Allah Almighty so now you pay attention to this and, uh, and he says that uh, one of his promises is that uh, that uh, and those who are following you those who follow you uh, upon those people who are your disbelievers they are going to be dominant upon them and this is true that my followers are going to get uh, ascendancy upon the non-believers but the point worth thinking is that from all followers uh, all of them they cannot enter into my community by initiation unless they uh, have the true quality of obedience he cannot be counted among my members so unless they follow me fully and such an obedience that they should be lost in obedience and submission and they should follow in the footsteps only then until then the word of the following cannot really apply to them 
So this indicates that Allah Almighty, uh, he says that Allah Almighty uh, has uh, uh, decreed such a community uh, uh, for my, among the followers, those who are going to be completely lost in Allah and those who are totally uh, uh, given to obedience. And this is what gives me satisfaction. My heart is filled with joy. Although Hazrat Musiya Maudul Aslaat Oslam, the people who follow him very tr truly, and he was very concerned about establishing such a community, and he used to get worried about that. But he says that uh, until the day of resurrection, such people are going to be created, made from my communities. Therefore, I have got much hope that such people will be created, will be born. And by the grace of Allah, uh, Allah Almighty will grant the promised Messiah Salatu Islam such true followers and obedient uh, members. Allah Almighty granted him such people. Uh, but uh, we must be worried about our own self, that each one of us is able to attain that high standard which uh, was the desire of the promised Messiah Salatu Islam. Allah Almighty enable us to attain this high standard so that we can see the dominance of Ahmadiyyat with our own eyes. Alhamdulillah, 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 wa nastainu wa nastaghfiruhu wa numinu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi وَنَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ شُرُورِ أَنفُسِنَا وَمِنْ سَيِّئَاتِ أَعْمَالِنَا مَنْ يَعْدِ اللَّهُ فَلَا مُضِلَّ لَهُ وَمَنْ يُضْلِلْهُ فَلَا هَادِيَ لَهُ ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله إباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل واللسان وَيَتَاءِ ذِي الْقُرْبَى وَيَنْهَى عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ وَالْبَغْيِ يَعِظُكُمْ وَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ اذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ يَذْكُرْكُمْ وَادْعُوهُ يَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ ولا ذكر الله أكبر ما <تصفيق> <تصفيق>